We did it, guys. We did it. Hello, everybody. This is DX Wiggins, and I'm just letting you know that we survived. I'm just letting you know that we all survived. No one died that I know of on 721st. And uh, besides the people that typically die on days, that's that's too sad to talk about. Um, 721st, quite an uneventful day, apocalyptic-wise, if you ask me. Um, I did nothing that day that re revolved around being chased by zombies or anything. Quite, quite the, quite the letdown, if you ask me. Disappointment, but uh, you know, I I was at school and me and my friends were just like, <laughs> we're running out of time, and uh, you know, but nothing happened, but uh. I'm almost a little bit surprised that nothing, even minute, happened uh, that day. But I don't know because I was ex halfway expecting at least something, not 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 near anything near the end of the world, but just something. And maybe something did happen, and we just haven't realized the after effects yet. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Um, what I think was stupid is that we had school that day, and that was really freaking stupid because. I was just, I mean, like, what if, what if something minute happened on that day? And specifically because it was that day, people would freak out. If, let's say, even if it, though it didn't happen, let's say there was a, like, a slight blackout, like, maybe the electricity and all the school went out for, like, ten minutes. People would freak out. You know they would. They, like, think about the War of the Worlds panic when uh, that radio broadcast went through on War of the Worlds and everyone panicked. I'm pretty sure a few people got trampled. And, like, if that happened, I would be out of the school. I'd be going home. I would be done. And, you know, they would try to contain you at the school. I'd be like, no, my, my dad's going to come bust me out. I'm not staying here. And so, um, yeah. But I think that was just stupid. Um, but, yeah. So... There was that. I went to a hockey game. I actually, I've never been to a hockey, uh, like a legit hockey game. Um, but it was awesome. I got, I was walking by, somebody gave me this little rubber foam, like, like hockey puck. It's pretty awesome. No, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, uh, but oh my gosh, it was more like a boxing match, and then a hockey game erupted out of it. Um, it was pretty fun. Like I've always heard of the fights. Um, it was kind of stupid. There was only one really big fight, and then everybody, the, like the rest of the game, like everyone just like stopped the fights. They like we're like, come on, fight! And like, dang, like those like hockey players are badass. I don't know why we hate on Canadians so much. Like freaking awesome. They were like playing dirty, and I was just like, whoa, dude, beat them up. But like the one match like happened in like the first period, and like they. Uh, they took off their gloves and like took off their helmets and just like flung everything down on the ground and they were kind of like this like going in circles like around he's like the the guy on the other team was just like come on man come on and the other guy was just like doing circles around him, kind of going in and then coming back so I was like our guy's a wimp come on but then like the guy on the other team like lunged out at him and uh, tried to swing at him and our guy like ducked grabbed his arm and sort of like beating him like in the face repeatedly and we're just like oh my god oh no and like um it was so awesome i don't know why but that was just so cool and then like our, the other guy got a few hits on our guy and then he just like sort of like he got him in the head like sort of beating him in the face they pulled him off and the guy on the other team's face was just like bleeding like just profusely and like blood was all over the other guy's jersey like, he had bled on the other guy's jersey. It was crazy. So they took him back, and then they had to replace the guy's jersey. And everyone was like, yeah, manliness. But anyways, um, that was awesome. Uh, I, like, I don't know why. Like, I'm not hating on football, but I feel like that's, like, a slower sport compared to soccer, indoor soccer and hockey because you're, like, going back and forth. It's so fast in football. You go up a few yards and back a few yards. But I don't know. Football is fun. I play it every once in a while with my friends. I'm not a I'm not a professional player myself. Uh, now with now with these muscles, now with these muscles. But 
dang, hockey's freaking cool. Um, but anyways, uh, oh, other news. My hair is growing back quite nicely. I don't like the widow's peak as much. I mean, I guess it's it's fine now, but when my hair gets longer, it gets really annoying. Uh, but, uh, like, I don't know, like, it's, it's getting pretty nice, like, pretty lengthy, pretty lengthy, it's nice. Um, <laughs> but anyways, that is about all I have to talk about right now. Hmm. Thanks for watching, and thanks for surviving the apocalypse. I can't even wait until I have kids and I'm able to talk, tell them how many times I survived the apocalypse. We got Y2K, we got the Planet X scare in 2003, we got the, uh, uh, the 666, 11, 11, 11. 12, 12, 12, 12, 21, 12. That's like 10 apocalypses, is says, says. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time.